Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Asia and I'm back with another hair review. So get ready for some hair porn. In this video I'll be reviewing this beautiful curly unit by curlscurls.com. So if you're interested in learning more about it, make sure you keep watching. <laughs> This video is sponsored by CurlsCurls.com. This is the beautiful packaging that the hair comes in and it includes the hair, a wig cap, along with a pamphlet that shows you how to care for the hair, a couple of wig combs, some wig clips, and an adjustable elastic band. Now dolls, I mistakenly deleted the footage showing the original unboxing. However, I did want to show you what the inside of this cap looks like. Um, you'll get about 6 inches of part in space. There's 2 combs in the side, 1 in the back along with an adjustable elastic band. Now I do prefer to co-wash my units. I feel like it helps the curls come alive. And what I'm using on this unit is my Ozzy Moist Conditioner. And I'm combing through the hair with my Denman brush, which is really good for curly haired units. Um, and I'm just combing out any of the kinks. And then I'm going to rinse it with cold water. And that's going to help seal in the moisture. Next, I'm going to apply some of this Cantu Shea Butter to this unit while it's wet. And I'm going to just finger the product through the hair. And then I use my baby hair brush to lay the hair down on top. And then I use one of the hair clips just because I like the hair to have a little bump. And I'm going to let this unit sit and air dry until I'm ready to install it. Okay dolls, so I let the hair sit for about actually <laughs> a couple of days. <laughs> I started filming and you know life happens so I wasn't able to get to it but I'm gonna show you guys what this wig is looking like right now that is dried I want you guys to take a look at the curl pattern on this unit do you notice that this texture goes from the root to the tip it's not just simply doesn't begin far down on the unit it actually begins from the root and that's one of the things that I love about this vendor their wigs seem to be really high quality and the textures are so, so vibrant and natural looking so guys this is what the curl pattern looks like I'm gonna give you a close-up and as you can see it's like a tight curl so I wanted to test to see what it would look like if I did like a twist out but you guys know I'm bootleg. I don't know how to do real twist outs. I literally, my twist out is twisting the hair, that's it. So I decided to twist this part of the wig so that we can have as a comparison. I didn't apply any additional product when I twisted it. Literally just twisted it. I didn't even wet it. So bear with me, let's see how this turns out. So I'm gonna put this wig on. Hey guys, I want you guys to take a look at this lace. You know, I'm always telling you guys, like, one of the beauties in a wig is the quality of the lace. As you can see, this is a very thin, um, transparent, tinted lace. So that already lets me know, once I cut this lace, all this install is going to look pretty good. Because as you can see, this lace is blending in with my complexion, even though it is a different tint. But it still looks pretty good. Um, so my first thoughts is just putting it on. Um, I like it already and I didn't even cut the lace. So it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the lace. Now, one thing I will say is that, um, I didn't add an extra additional elastic band because this wig is actually fitting me perfectly. Um, all I did was adjust the adjustable elastic band that's in there right now and it's fitting pretty snug. So I don't think I'm going to apply any guts to be glue because I don't feel like it's needed. If anything, I'll probably just apply it to the sides. So let me go ahead and cut this lace off. And I'm gonna use my eyebrow razor. 
guys, you want to use a good razor when you're cutting your wigs. The razor that I normally use has gotten dull and I went to the store yesterday and I was unable to find one similar. This is a new razor but it doesn't cut well. I'm going to just cut the remainder of this lace with my scissor. However, I do prefer the cut from the razor because it gives it more of a jagged cut whereas the scissors give a straight cut. And the jagged cut is actually preferable because it helps it blends in with your skin better. I'm going to try to do some zigzags. As you can see, there is a little bit of lace remaining. I'm going to just cut that with my scissor. And this is what it looks like once I cleaned it up. And there is a little bit of lace in the back, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that as well. Now I'm going to put it back on. And guys, look at this. I didn't pluck it or anything. This is basically how it came. Now I'm going to spray a little of this got to be glue hairspray on the ends just to lay this down. how this looks without me even spraying any got to be glue spray on the top so imagine if I put the spray down it will blend in even better I'm gonna just take a little bit of my powder and apply that to the hairline just to help the blend in a little more okay guys so this is what it is looking like I really like these curls. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it before I put it on, which is part of the reason why I twist did the twist out because I tend to like bigger curls as opposed to tighter curls on me, but I'm actually feeling this. What you guys think? Okay, let me go ahead and take these twists out and let's see what that's looking like. y'all think I like this the twist out came out good too as you can see the twist out made curls just slightly bigger um, than this other side but I actually like both I don't know which one I prefer put some of my mousse Oh, I gotta go get some earrings for this. <laughs> okay now, it's a vibe right now. I'm really feeling this. Uh, this is what this is looking like. Let me go ahead and give you some of the specs on this unit. This is their Burmese curly hair and the density for this is 150%. This is a lace front however they do have full lace wigs available if you're interested in that this is also in 14 inches I did chop a little when I say a little bit of this off um, and to do that I literally went like this pulled the hair and cut it no type of cutting skills are necessary this is curly hair so it's really forgiving when it comes to cutting the hair oops I still have a twist out in here you guys seen I didn't tie this down if I would have tied it down it will blend a lot better but for the sake of time I'm gonna forego doing that uh, I just want to let you guys see how easy this unit is to just basically throw on and go I did bleach the knots on this unit but as I showed you in the beginning the knots are very light and that was really optional and I actually wasn't going to do it the only reason I ended up bleaching the knots was because I decided to wash the hair so I said I might as well go ahead and bleach the knots just because I'm a creature I have it and I typically bleach the knots of every wig that I have but for this unit it's definitely not necessary I haven't really been playing with it to tell you if I get any tangles I don't really think you should be playing with curly hair like keep running your hand through curly hair 
because that's really not a good idea you know curly hair you have to treat different than you do straight hair I'm not getting any tangles I will try to run my fingers for you guys and as you can see it's smooth sailing but you know when it comes to curly hair when you run your fingers through it a lot or um, one or two things gonna happen one you're gonna just kind of mess up the curl pattern and two your hair is going to start getting really big like so unless you want big hair that's one thing if you want your hair to be bigger if you want it to look fuller than this all you have to do is just run your hand through it and the way the hair is going to just start puffing up you can already see this side is getting a little bigger just by me playing in it as you saw when i after i finished washing the hair i did apply some of my Cantu shea butter on it this is just i use the same products in every video because I don't know if, it, if it's not broke don't fix it this stuff works i'll try to get some other different products to start trying for you guys just to give you guys different options outside of this but this can touche butter it, it hasn't failed me yet hair seems like it's pretty managed right now and one thing i like about the can touche butter is that it prevents the hair from getting really big that's why i typically use the can touche butter because i know that it helps maintain the bigness of the hair if that's even a word the bigness but whatever Y'all get what I'm saying. Anyway, dolls, this is pretty much it with this unit. This vendor is a fairly new vendor. Uh, they used to just kind of sell, I think, clip-ins. They still have clip-ins on their website, so if you're interested in clip-ins, then you can also find that there as well. They also sell a lot of different curl patterns. As I mentioned, this is the Burmese Curly. However, they do have Kinky Curly. Their Kinky Curly is actually really beautiful. The only reason I didn't review it is because I, I have another Kinky Curly unit that I'm gonna have to review. So I just wanted to provide different versatility for you guys. But their Kinky Curly is beautiful. So if you're interested in a tighter curl, you could probably most likely find that on their website as well. They also have like Blowout, um, Kinky Straight. They really about to I, I kind of feel that they're about to corner the market with the textured units because all of the textured units that I've seen from them so far are a one this is my first time working with the vendor but I do foresee me working with them again in the near future if you're interested in this unit as always I'll have it in the description box down below as well as anything that I use in this video will be provided in the description box as well guys before we get out of here Y'all already know the drill. I did pick a name for the unit that I reviewed last week. And the new name as well as the person who submitted that comment will be listed right here. So dolls, before we leave, you know I need you guys to help me name this beauty. What are we going to call her? I am loving her. You know, I'm not usually like the short curly hair type girl, but I'm feeling this. I don't know. I really am feeling this. And lastly, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And dolls, as always important, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.